My name is Karen Kukla. I am the president and founder of Helping Hounds Dog Rescue, a New York not-for-profit organization. Well, what we did this morning, <laughs> uh, we started um, up in uh, Liverpool. Hey, Lee. How are you? All my paperwork is here. Picking up a transport of dogs, uh, most of whom came from Cheatham County. A couple others came from other shelters in the Midwest. There's a litter of eight lab mixed puppies. The puppies had been dumped in the shelter there shortly after they were born on December 29th. And without rescue, um, the puppies most certainly would have either died or contracted some horrible disease in the shelter because, of course, they were so young and they would have had to have been put down. The, the chance of them surviving had they stayed there would have been very slim and none had, had Karen not taken them. Every dog has got the clock on them every day in a shelter when you don't have enough room. I mean, that, and there simply is never enough room. So I'm Tammy Lizio. I live in Liverpool, New York, and I've had a dog for 13 years. He died three years ago, and I was looking for another dog. It's time to get another dog. And so I don't know too much. All I know is she's from the Carolinas. Her name is Spring. She was abandoned because of financial reasons. She contracted heartworm because they did not put her on a preventative medicine. So AdoptALab.org treated her for the heartworm, and um, she's all ready to go. I'm going to keep her name because today is the first day of spring. We, we love Spring. Spring is, has been with us for quite a while because of her, because of her age and her heartworm and everything. And uh, she, she's a great dog and, and she, um, she'll, she'll have a great home. It's, it's what we do it for, but the, the problem is as soon as these are gone, I'll be home and there'll be, uh, everybody will be, those holes will be filled. So we just keep going. Without the internet, there is no way that the demand up here in the north could ever know about the supply down in the south. And that is what the internet has done for us. It has become really the, the highway, the freedom train for a lot of these dogs coming out of shelters in the south and finding permanent homes up here in the north. Oh my God, they're so cute. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay babies. Okay. Right, one at, another one at. We're going to take them in the back and clean them up a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at them! They're so cute. Come meet your families. Oh my I'm Tracy Romano. I, for Helping Homes Dog Rescue, I serve as a adoption coordinator, um, floor cleaner, <laughs> crate cleaner, uh, puppy walker. Um, when you start volunteering with dog rescues, you end up doing one of just about everything. <laughs> We pre-approved eight families. We picked the ones that we thought were the best for these puppies. Um, it was fun. I got to make the phone calls to each of the families announcing you know, that they were approved and ready to get a puppy. Once they saw them all today, they were all pretty happy. Okay, I'm John. And I'm Brittany, and we decided we wanted to add another puppy to our home. Yeah. We came from Canada. Yeah, near Kingston. So it was really important to us to, to give it a dog a home that needed one. They were willing to come down from Canada. They drove three and a half hours. Actually, they stayed overnight last night in Syracuse, and we're our first family here this morning to pick up a puppy. Uh, we just wanted to come and meet the pups. We didn't have one specifically in mind, just because it was too hard to pick just from a picture. Picture online, yeah, they all look the same, so we've really. we've actually been doing lots of research and trying to match one to Spencer and to our lifestyle, and hopefully find one that suits. Yeah. Why do I do this? I do it for the love of dogs. Um, I do it because I want to make a difference. I, I want my gravestone to say that I did something positive with my life and um, helping God's most defenseless creatures, these, these dogs um, that, that don't have the choices. They can't make decisions about what happens to them. And, and as human beings, we owe them that for the unconditional love and devotion that they give back to us. I feel like we're doing something. We're doing our part. Um, there's definitely heartaches, you know, you can't save them all, and that's tough, but um, you have to feel like you're doing your part one dog at a time. We need all the help we can get. We need all the help we can get.